Hello and welcome. This video will cover the thermal properties of water experiment. This experiment has two parts. Part one of the experiment, you will need to get 800 ml baker. Make sure you note down the weight of the baker before you start. You can always use the tear function to zero the balance while the baker is there, but it will be good to note down the exact weight of the baker just in case the scale get uh, reset or power off while you are doing the experiment. We'll need to get 800 ml of ice pulled in this paper. So in here we have pulled this baker up to the 800 ml mark. We'll need to get the weight of the ice alone. Note down the weight or the mass of the ice in there. Next, we'll need to add water to fill the voids up to 800 ml. Before adding that water, you will need to make sure that you get the temperature of that water and get the weight because we need to know exactly how much water we are adding. So we'll get the initial weight of the baker with the water, then we'll add the water to the ice and get the weight again. This is the 800 ml mark in here, and I'm going to add water till we reach to that. Something like that. Now, getting the weight of the baker and the left out water will give you the amount of water we added already. Next to that, we will need to submerge the heater. This is the heater, uh, it's electric heater supplied via this variable transformer. This variable transformer always make sure it points to zero before you switch it on. We got a meter in here which gives you in the, uh, voltage, current, power and energy. Remember not to switch on the heater you submerge with water. Switching on the heater outside the water can cause a permanent damage to the heater. So we'll lower the heater element to get it submerged with water all the way. Now in part one of the experiment you can do that on the top of the balance or uh, on the workstation. Always remember to use appropriate gloves if you are going to deal with hot items. Never, never touch the heater element, which is the stainless steel part you can see in here, even if the heater is off, because it can stay hot for a while. After doing that, you will need to get a thermometer in the water. You will need to use a stirring rod to make sure that the water and the ice stirred as much as possible. Before switching on the heater, we'll need to make sure that we start with the timing and we can get this to mid the scale. Always you can see the pointer in here and this should point to mid scale. Then we switch on using this on off switch and you should be getting readings in here. You can always switch between the different readings using the buttons there between volts, amps, power and the yellow one will give you energy in kilowatt hour. As you switch on that, we should start with the timing at the exact same time. You will need to get now measurement of temperature at fixed interval of time. So every 30 seconds on the stopwatch, you will need to get a temperature reading. Now as the ice ah, start to melt down you will need to keep stirring it using the stirring rod provided you don't need to reset the stopwatch every time so you will keep it running you will take note of the temperature at 30 seconds 1 minute 130 2 minutes and so on till the water reach the room temperature of about 25 degrees if the water reaches that temperature then you can reset the stopwatch and switch off the heater using this switch 
and this will end part one of the experiment. So to summarize that quickly, part one of the experiment, we will need to add 800 ml of ice, then we add water to fill on the voids, get the heater in, and switch it on, get temperature reading every 30 so the water reaches room temperature at about 25 degrees. If that is done, then make sure the heater is off before you get the heater out of the water. In the first part of the experiment, while taking measurements of temperature every 30 seconds, you need to note down the energy on the heater at that time. So your table will have time, temperature, and energy required. For part two of the experiment, you will need to get 800 ml of water. You will need to note down the temperature of that water before you start. Reset your stopwatch and switch on the water heater at the same time you are starting with the timing. The variable transformer should point in halfway. You can change between the readings in here using the different water. Similarly to part one, you will need to get temperature reading of water every 30 seconds. You might use the stirring rod to make sure that the temperature is equal all over the water. You will need to wait and keep recording temperature and energy every 30 seconds till the water boils. By this time you will need to get your googles and always make sure you keep your uh, face and body out of the boiling water because the steam is forming and leaving at high temperature. At this point you will need to reset the stopwatch Start it again and note down how much time and energy is required to boil a certain mass of water. Always you will get mass reading from the weighing scale. So you will need to wait till the reading here reduced by about 10 to 20 grams and noting down the power and the time required for that. You should not change the voltage supplied by the variable transformer while doing a set of reading. It doesn't really matter which voltage you keep it on, but you should note down the power required. Basically, thank you for watching.